Hi everyone. This video is about scraping a website, which have categories and subcategories. For the purpose of this video, it is assumed that each subcategory has a single page only. To achieve my goal, I will use the web scraper extension. With this short intro, let us move towards our computer screen. Assuming that you haven't installed web scraper yet, let's install it now. Open Google Chrome on your PC or laptop. Type web scraper in the search box and press enter key. Click on this web address. Web scraper web page will open. Scroll down the web page until you find Chrome extension tab. You can easily find the extension under the heading Install Web Scraper. Click on Chrome Extension tab. In the next window, click on Add to Chrome tab. In the pop up dialog box, click on Add Extension. You will receive a message that will thank you for installing Web Scraper browser extension. It implies that the extension has been installed. You will find it in the top right corner of the screen in the Extensions folder. For easy access to the extension, you can bring it out of the folder and place it beside the extensions folder. To do so click on pin icon, which is placed opposite to web scraper icon. The web scrape extension will now appear on the left side of the extensions folder. Having installed the web scraper extension, we are ready to scrap the Amazon e-commerce website with categories and subcategories. Open Google Chrome browser. Type Amazon in the search bar. Press Enter key. In the next window, click on Amazon.com. Amazon home page will open. Click on three parallel horizontal bars at the top left corner of the screen. Now click on Electronics in the next window and then click on Office Electronics. A new web page will open. This is the starting web page from where scraping will commence. On this page, there are 14 categories starting from calculators and ending at telephones and accessories. If we click on first category, which is calculators, a list of subcategories under this category, starting from basic and ending at scientific, will open. It must be noted here that some of the categories have no subcategory. For instance, if you click on the category of document cameras, you will find no subcategories. Even though, there are some electronic items being shown, in this category, but under no subcategory. Web Scraper will not scrape these items because they are not classified under a subcategory. In order to start web scraping, we need to first create a sitemap. The sitemap contains the name of the website, such as Amazon e-commerce, and URL of the landing web page, the web page from where scraping will start. To create the sitemap, go back to landing page, again. Right-click anywhere on the page. Then click on Inspect button, to open the web scraper pane. Note that you can also open, the web scraper pane by pressing F12 key. A web scraper pane will open at the bottom of the window with many tabs including web scraper tab. Now click on web scraper button. Click on create new sitemap. And then click on create sitemap. A new dialog box will open in which you will provide the sitemap name and URL of the landing web page. Write Amazon e-commerce or any other suitable name in the sitemap name box. Please note that, there must not be any space, between two words of the ID. And name should not start, with uppercase letter or a digit. We may include underscore, round brackets, plus or minus symbols in the name, but they must not be used at the start of the name. Then, copy URL of the landing web page, and paste it in the start URL box. Thereafter, click on create sitemap, the sitemap has now been created. After the sitemap has been created, 
we will add a category link selector. To do so, click on Add New Selector. In ID box, type Category Link Selector. In Type box, select Link from the given list. Click on Select button. Then select the first category, which is Calculators. Select the second category. Note that remaining categories, will automatically be selected. Click on Done Selecting. Select the multiple checkbox, because there are more than one category links. In Parent Selector box, Category Link Selector must be shown, under Root Selector, and Root Selector must be highlighted too. Click on Save Selector. Now, click on Element Preview to ensure that, all the categories have been selected. Close it. Then, click on Data Preview to ensure that, all the categories are being shown, at the bottom of the window in tabular format, which confirms that, all categories have been included in the data to be scraped. Our next task is to add subcategory link selector. To achieve this goal, click on the tab of first category, to open the subcategories under this tab. Now click on Add New Selector. In the ID box, write Subcategory Link Selector. In Type box, select Link from the given list. Under the Heading Selector, click on Select tab. Select first and second subcategories. Other subcategories will automatically be selected. Click on Done Selecting. Select Multiple checkbox because there are more than one subcategory links. In Parent Selector box, Subcategory Link Selector must be shown, under Category Link Selector, and the former, must be highlighted too. Click on Save Selector. Now click on Element Preview to ensure that, all the items in the subcategory, have been selected. Before clicking on Element Preview tab, ensure that the ID box is showing Subcategory Link Selector. However, Instead of Subcategory Link Selector, if the ID box is showing Category Link Selector, click on the latter, to change it to Subcategory Link Selector. Also click on Data Preview to ensure that, all the items in the subcategory are being shown in tabular format. Our next target is to add, either an Element Selector, or alternatively a Link Selector. To fetch such data as model name, price, and other required data from the website. If required data is available, on wrappers of the products, we should add an element selector. It will make web scraping faster, because now the web scraper will not be required to visit detailed product pages. However, if the required data is available on detailed web pages, we must add a link selector. It will enable the web scraper to move inside links of the products to fetch the required data. For this project, I assume that required data is available, on products wrappers, and will proceed further accordingly. For adding an element selector, click on, basic, the first subcategory of the first category. Now click on, add new selector. In the ID box, type element selector. In the type box, select element from the given list. Click on Select tab. And then click on First Product, to select the wrapper of the product. If the whole wrapper element is not selected, on first attempt, press, P key repeatedly until the whole wrapper element is selected. Then click on the link of second product to select the wrapper element of the product. If the whole wrapper is not selected on first try, Press Shift key and then click, on the link of the product to wholly select it. Select the wrapper elements of the other products, if they are not selected automatically, by pressing, Shift key and clicking on the links of the products. Click on Done Selecting. Select the multiple checkbox, since there are more than one, product wrapper elements links. 
ensure that in the parent selector box, element selector is shown, below subcategory link selector, and the subcategory link selector is selected as well. Click on Save Selector. Now click on Element Preview, to ensure that all the product wrapper elements, have been selected. Click on Data Preview, to get the message, no data extracted. That's OK. After adding Element Selector, we would add text and image selectors. For model, price, image, and other data present on the product wrapper. Click on, Add New Selector. In the ID box, type, Model. In Type box, select text from the list. Click on Select tab. And select the model and specifications of the first product. Please note that, there is no need to select this information, for the other products. Then click on Done Selecting. Don't select the multiple checkbox. In Parent Selector box, ensure that Element Selector is selected. Click on Save Selector. Some potential issues and their remedies, during the whole process of data scraping. Now click on Element Preview. You will be surprised to see that, model and specifications of the product is, unselected. Even though, we had selected it. Let's investigate the issue. The ID box is showing, subcategory link selector instead of model. Click on, subcategory link selector, it will change to element selector. Then click on element selector, to change it to model. Click once again on element preview. Model and specifications of the product is still, unselected, which implies that something went wrong, and somehow it could not be selected. To rectify this mistake, click on the Edit tab. ID and Type boxes are OK. Click on Select tab, and select Model and Specifications part of the wrapper. Click on Done Selecting. All other input seems to be correct. Lastly, click on Save Selector. Once again click on Element Preview. Now model and specification part of the first product, can be seen as selected. Then click on Data Preview to make sure, that the model and specifications of, all the products are being displayed, in the Data Preview pane. In order to add a price text selector, click on Add New Selector. In the ID box type price. For type box, select text from the given list. Click on select tab, to select price of the first subcategory of the first category. If you face difficulty in selecting all digits of the price, click on, P key. Then click on done selecting. Don't select the multiple checkbox. In Parent Selector box, ensure that, the Element Selector is being shown as selected. Thereafter, click on Save Selector. Then click on Element Preview tab to confirm, that the price of the product has been selected. Click on Data Preview to confirm that, the product prices of all the products, on the current page are being displayed, in tabular format in the Data Preview pane. Let's quickly, add another text selector for delivery charges. The procedure in this case, is the same as was in case of model and price text selectors, with the exception of ID, which is now delivery charges. Click on Add New Selector. In the ID box, type delivery charges. For type box, select text. Click on Select tab, to select the amount of delivery charges. Then click on Done Selecting. Don't select the multiple checkbox. In Parent Selector box, Element Selector must be shown as selected. Click on Save Selector. Click on Element Preview tab, 
to confirm the selection of the amount of delivery charges. Click on Data Preview to confirm that the delivery charges of all the products on the current page are being displayed. Click on this Data Preview tab. To see overall preview of all text selectors in tabular format, click on Add New Selector. In ID box, type image. In type box, select image instead of text. Click on Select tab and select the image of the first product. Then click on Done Selecting. Don't select the multiple checkbox. In Parent Selector box, Element Selector must be selected. Click on Save Selector. Now click on Element Preview to ensure that the image of the first product is showing as selected. Then click on Data Preview. In the Data Preview pane, images links of all the products on the page must be shown in tabular format. Now we have completed all required tasks before scrapping data. To confirm whether all the tasks were performed in the correct order, we should check the selector graph. To do so click on Sitemap Amazon e-commerce tab. Then click on the selector graph in the drop-down menu. The root selector will appear in the pane at the bottom of the window. This is the starting point of the scraping of data. Clicking on root selector will result in the display of category link selector. Click on category link selector to show the subcategory link selector. Clicking on subcategory link selector will display product element selector. When we click on product element selector, four text and image selectors will appear in branch like form. They all will appear under the product element selector since they were created under it. As you will notice, the graph has a tree like structure in which all items are being shown in the same order in which they were added. We are now well set to scrap the data. Click on Sitemap Amazon e commerce tab. Click on Scrape tab in the drop down menu. Keep the default request interval and page load delay as 2000 millisecond. Click on Start Scrapping tab. Downloading of data will commence, which will take some time depending on the amount of data, internet speed, speed of processor etc. When scraping ends, you will get the message, Scraping finished. Click on Refresh button. In the bottom of the window, you will get a list of scraped data in tabular format. This is the same format, in which the data will be downloaded. You can scroll down to see all the data to be scrapped. As you can see there is 727 rows of data that has been scraped. Click on Sitemap Amazon e-commerce tab, then click on Export Data tab. Now you have the option to get the data in Excel or CSV format or even in both. Select the desired format. Click on this up arrow head. And then on Open File tab to open the file. This file has our required columns headers such as category, subcategory, model, price, delivery charges, and image. Keep these columns and delete unrequired columns. As you can see 728 rows of data has been scraped including one row for headers. This is the end of our scraping project. Thank you for watching the video. Please like and share the video. And subscribe, for prompt notification of the next video.